Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at setting some default job properties for your printers. And this will be within FlexiPrint and the Production Manager. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, if we head back into the actual program here. So now we've got the two printers on top here. Now let's look at some default settings. So what this is going to do is every time you start your program, it will use those settings so you don't have to set it up for every file you drag in. Now it can save you a lot of time and um, the, also the default you set might change according to your actual workflow. But I'm just going to quickly run through what we're going to be using for our tutorial. So we're going to first select the um, printer that does only the white, not the white and varnish. I'm going to go right click and then, uh, oh my apologies, right click this one. So not the actual name on top, the bottom name. And then we've got here default job properties. So zoom in, I don't know if you guys can see well here. So yeah, we've got default job properties, which we're going to be selecting. Then that should load us a um, pop-up box of the default settings. Just give it a second. There we go. Now, there's a lot to set, but what we're going to do is only set key ones. The other ones you can play with if you need to, but in general, you can just leave it as is. Now, right off the bat here, we've got these little icons. Now, if you had to hover on them, they will show a little um, help pop up. Let's so zoom again. So it will tell you what the panel is. So we can see you've got layout, you've got workflow and so forth. So if you're not sure, if we talk about something, you can always go there. And just look if that is um, which panel is the right one. So now of our first one, the layout, we're going to go and just set our scale down. I'm going to set mine to 30 centimeters. Otherwise, what happens is once you import your graphics, you're going to get a shock because that thing's going to be extremely big. So we're going to leave that one at 30. You might have to jump uh, set this according to um, what is required. Like I say, talk to support, according to your printer, what is required. And they should be able to help you with that. Then let's just jump through these ones and look what is important. So now next one over here under our actual workflow, we're going to go to the after output. This is so after it's done outputting, what is going to happen to the file? So normally it will delete it, but in our case, we're going to go hold. Because then if you want to reprint, it's easy. You don't have to do the whole process again. You can just say, okay, cool. Let's print again. And then, especially if doing test prints, this is great. And you leave it on hold. Then under the actual uh, color management, we're going to be um, adding another color profile and this to make sure your colors are accurate to your printer. But for that, we will do another video because we have to go download it. I'll show you where to download it and so forth. It's pretty straightforward, but um, yeah, I don't think we're going to fit that into this video as well. Let's just go through all the uh, document and we see what we've got here. And um, some of it we're going to set, some panels is irrelevant for what we're going to be doing now. So the next one is the printer options. And over here, what we want to do is we want to set the type it is. So you can see we've got here for the white ink and varnish ink. So this is only going to be relevant, or the varnish only be relevant if you have a printer that can do varnish. But for now, we're just going to set both these to solid uh, undercolor. And then we're going to set this one as well to undercolor. Wait, my apologies. I think it's actually we want to be setting this to under solid. There we go. Yeah. So under solid and under solid, we're going to be setting this. But once we start working with custom channels, we're going to change this. But for default, I like to keep these on the under solid. You can play through with these and see what's the different effects they've got. But for the default, I would say just leave it under solid. Let's go through some other settings. Won't be setting that. Neither that. And then. Um, a nice little preview place where we'll be coming back to that so now the last thing we want to set is we want to go here to our last panel transparency and this is only relevant if you are printing png files with transparent backgrounds then what you want to do is use alpha channels data for white so what this is going to do is um uh, interpolate it so it does not use white as the alpha channel but instead the actual alpha channel don't worry too much, we'll be covering this as well. I'll show you some samples, what's the difference. But this is also a good one to leave on, in my opinion, as default. But we're going to leave it off for now so I can show you the difference in another video. Then what we're going to do is say apply, okay. 
and then we want to set up the next printer as well so make sure you select it on top you'll see it's blue and it's active then same thing we're gonna right click the name at the bottom here so zoom right click and then we want to go to default job properties i'm going to just jump through this quickly we're going to make that one 30 then we're going to set our output to hold then color correction we will still be doing then i'm going to set this one to solid under solid and under solid for both the white and varnish and we're going to go right to the end here okay we're not going to set it now but normally i would activate that one so it is um the use of the channels for white say so, okay and there we go we've got both our default printers set up so like i said now once we drag a file in here it's going to use those settings and then um, we can make adjustments off that but that is a nice stock to have but like i mentioned yours might vary depending on your printing needs but yeah before we head over to some more advanced things if we go here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for you simply go yeah request the training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers